Welcome back to more of the Game of Blind with Samuel Bam. Let's play of Legend of Keepers. Still going through the Enchantress's second part of the campaign. Doing okay. Not amazing, but okay. All right, what do I want to do here? I don't need to go to the doctor because I'm at full HP. Or close enough to full HP that it's not really worth bothering going to the doctor. Uh, you might as well go ahead and upgrade the traps, right? Why not? We got a little bit of money. We had 514 gold. That's not bad. We got a bunch of our heroes, of our, a bunch of our monsters have been leveled up by means other than paying money for it. Or paying full price for it, I guess I should say. So I'm fine with not having to pay any more for that. Let's upgrade the furnace because we haven't done that yet. 20 extra fire damage is quite good, I would say. I'm not going to bother leveling up the polar portal. Like one extra stack, I think, is what it was of... Um, Frostbite's good, but yeah, it's not worth it right now. Okay, plunder business trip. We always go. We always go plunder. <laughs> we always go business trip. That thing I never use, of course. All right, what do we have here? So we have earth impaler, uh, uh, fire impaler, and ice elemental. Okay, thirty-five percent chance on volunteers out for three weeks. You get one hundred nine to one hundred fifty-five gold, and we have a twenty twenty percent chance to set a monster free. Seventy-five percent chance all monsters are tired, not interested. Don't even, not even looking at the rest of that. 100% chance all volunteers are out for two weeks, but we get plus one motivation and another monster. <sighs> Again, I didn't look to, I didn't look that far ahead to see if we are going to be, if like the, the, the next dungeon is like two weeks away or one week away. I think it's more than two weeks away, so it's probably not that big of a deal, but I don't know. Hmm. I think I'll go for the slightly higher re Well, hold on. Motivation. Everyone's motivation is a bit low. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this one. And I'm going to really just cross my fingers and hope I didn't just completely ruin my chances of surviving here. Okay. They're all knocked out. That's fine. 100 gold is good. And, uh... Okay, good. I didn't, I didn't screw myself over there. Thank goodness. Okay. Let's see. Do I, I don't want to do a siege. Again, I only have three traps. And I need them right now. Okay. What do we have here? Uh, is this a garbage shoot? What is this? The workers' union uh, made a request for... Oh, they're not on a suggestion box. Okay. Uh, we have 214 gold. That's not as much as I thought it was. I thought we had more than that. I'm not quite sure where so much money went. Where all of my money went. Or was that thing that I kept seeing for the 100 gold? Was it minus 100 gold and I just totally didn't realize it? It's entirely likely. Okay, what... Oh. So all the monsters who are out for next week. Okay. Let's still I'm still gonna accept for the plus one motivation for everybody. Because we need that right now. Okay, everyone's back, except for my unstable elemental for some reason. Uh I'm gonna Oh, you're not leveled up. For some reason I thought both of them were leveled up. Or did I get another one? Did I get a third unstable elemental at some point? I didn't realize. Oh, maybe that was what I got from that from that um whatever it's called. The thing with the stuff and the whatever you call it. You know what I mean. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have level two, master bonus and some money. We have a trap and some money, a lot of money actually, or master bonus and not quite as much money. Hmm. I have 160, 164 gold. What's coming up? Merchant, can't read it all. Merchant. Uh, training. I think I want to go for as much money as possible. And I mean, having another trap might not be necessarily a bad thing. Maybe I'll find something that's... I mean, I'll probably just continue using Furnace and Polar Portal because it seems like the best options. But... Anyway. Okay, so we've got a Disciple, I'm assuming. Yeah, Disciple. Can't be affected by Demoralized. No problem there. We have a Tracker... Is, uh, we're all off the juice by 50%. No problem. Ice Wizard. God damn it. 2% of heroes max and we're all back. Fine. No problem. All right, so we've got ice to the front and ice to the area. Fire to the back. Okay. All right. This just depends on who I want to get rid of first. I really want to get rid of the Ice Wizard because he can slow all of our monsters, but I also don't have a lot of monsters that can target the back row. So it's a bit of a rough uh, rough go here. I'm going to start with the Furnace. 
And I guess we're going to help, I guess, at that point after that. Uh, let's see. Actually, wait. I don't have the Fire Impaler in this group, do I? I have the Ice Impaler and Earth Impaler. Okay. If I put the... If I put the furnace in the back trap, then I could use that alone. Well, no, I've got, I've got a level two flame elemental or fire elemental in the same group as the fire impaler. I'm not going to worry about it that much. So as far as like getting thorns up for burning, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we're going to get shifted. <sighs> okay, I have to I have to do some mental gymnastics to figure this out, and it's going to be painful. Okay. So ice to the front, ice to the area, fire to the back. But monsters are going to get shifted because of the ice wizard. Okay. So whichever monster is going to be in the front is probably going to be in the middle or the back. Okay. Ice to the front. So who should I put in the back? Possibly ice. Okay. If I put ice elemental, it lose 50% of its HP. And be slowed. Same with the Ice Impaler. Earth Impaler... Does have decent ice resist. Not amazing. Uh, okay. Hmm. I need to pick um, an attack that is going to be, like, more beneficial to be used multiple times. You have bad armor, right? Yeah. Okay, two of them have bad armor, so maybe unstable elemental, but also has bad ice resist, so probably not. Air elemental has really bad ice resist, so I'm not going to bother with that. Do I put ice impaler? Ice impaler? No, that's it's ice damage to the front, um, and it won't gain thorns because the disciple has very high ice resist. So ice impaler would not be a good call for the front, I think. Yeah. What's his nature resist? Pretty high also. Okay. Hmm. So none of these are gonna be good for the front for the back rows, what you're telling me. Okay. Yeah, this is just not a good team for this entire group. I'm just gonna put Ice Impaler in the back. Cause it has, I think, the most HP and it would has stand the best chance of surviving after it loses its health. Let's bring Earth Impaler in the front because it just is good in general. And... I don't know. I don't want to bring Fire... I don't want to bring Fire Elemental in the... Unless I bring... This might work. If I put you in the front, then you're faster than everybody. And you can just blast the fire, the ice wizard. And then we just bring Earth Impaler for funsies because it's a because it's an Earth Impaler and that's great. Okay. And then we do Polar Portal. Okay, now we're not going to get shifted this turn, which is fantastic. <laughs> now I just have to decide what I want to do here. Because Fire Impaler is pretty weak to ice. So probably won't use it. Okay. Are any of these even remotely fast? Because they're going to lose their speed if I put them in the back row. Earth Elemental. You're weak to ice, so probably not you. This is also weak to fire, so definitely not. Okay, Ancestral Elemental would be great. Where do I want to put it, though, is the question. Because it would resist fire and ice decently well. I don't think anything else is going to resist both of those. No. Okay. Ancestral Elemental is going in the back. Then what? Something strong that will resist ice in the front row would be great. Which I think would have to be Ice Elemental here. And then... Do I do Fire Impaler? What's your? Oh, you have very high fire resist, I'm sure. Because once the Ice Wizard goes down, it's going to be a lot harder to get rid of anybody else. So I think I'm going to bring... Rixious Heroes affected by Burn. I'm going to try 
other fire elemental because he can at least attack. He can attack the front row. He dodged the first trap. I always forget about that ability, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, so Earth Impaler got shifted to the front. That's fine because it's going to be targeted by a bunch of attacks anyway. It's not a big deal. So now I think I'm just going to go... I just have to go for as much damage as I can on the Ice Wizard. Actually, you know what? The... You know what? Fire Elemental getting shifted to the back is perfect because it's going to take no damage from fire attacks from, from fire attacks for a couple of rounds because of that enhanced resistance. Okay, uh, in infectious spikes, I guess, is what we're doing because I don't have anything else I can do. And then frozen, whatever that was. Hit twice, that's great. And then, oh, right, you're going again because of your because you slowed everybody. Oh, he died because of thorns. He died a lot faster than I was expecting him to die. That's that's great. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish he could hit the front row. I'll just do Inferno for that. Because I don't really have anything else I can do here. Good resist. Sure. Continue spiking up. Probably... Oh no, we did get rid of him. Wow, that worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Good resist. Now I think Magma Ball is fine. It's not going to do very much damage, but that's fine. It's not a big problem. This is probably... Oh, we're going to get her, aren't we? Wow, that worked out incredibly well. None of our monsters got knocked out. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> okay. Oil Cauldron is not bad, but it doesn't do Burn or uh, Frostbite. Poison Cloud also not bad. <sighs> Modified Fan is tempting, just because of the, the Tired. I don't know. I'll go Oil Cauldron this time, even though I don't think I'm going to use it. Probably not. I think that's, the f that's one of the few times that I've ever not had any monsters get knocked out during the first round of a of a battle, especially one that seemed like it was going to be particularly challenging because of the Ice Wizard. But he happened to shift monsters like in the perfect possible way, which rarely happens. So it ended up working out very well. Let's go to the trainer. I don't know if any of how many of these monsters I'm going to level up, but I should probably level at least one of them up. I don't know which one. Okay, uh, Fire Impaler, probably one of the Impalers, I would say. Plus 10 HP, plus 10 fire resist, plus 10 armor, and gains a number of thorn stacks equivalent to the total of the total of thorns stacks on other monsters of the group uh, that are benefiting from the service turn. That's a very confusing uh, thing, but it basically means if other monsters have thorns, it gains that many stacks of thorns as well. What was this one again? Ice Impaler. I probably should level this thing up also, because I keep not doing that. <laughs> Gain stores of the target's ice resistance is... Oh, that's just the passive. Okay. I don't know which one I should level up. I'm just going to do Ice Impaler, just be done with it. And I have no money again. Okay. Well, not no money, but I just don't have very much. Seminar. That was the one I was trying to think of to buff us. I couldn't remember what it was called. Seminar, Sanctuary, or Therapist. Would it be really beneficial if I go to the Therapist right now? Not really. We only have a few monsters that have a little bit of motivation loss. It's not worth it to me. Okay. I think... Should we go for the buff? Let's go for the buff, I think, on our characters. So I can't do that one, whatever it is. Or can I? No, I can't, I guess. Really? I can only do one of them? Don't have enough blood. Is that what the problem is? Okay. Is it like a money thing? I can't read this, so I don't know. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Oh, okay, I need tears for it. I don't have enough tears for either of those. Okay, that sucks. What do we have? Motivation? Is that all it is? Just plus one motivation? So I can't get Flame Spirit, Damaging Attacks Apply. That would have been so good to have. Or Enhanced Resistances. That would have been so good to have, too. Instead, I get nothing. For except I spent 15 blood to get plus one elevation. It's not worth it. 
It was such a waste. Ugh, I hate it. Is this the last dungeon? I'm gonna assume it is. Okay, what do we have here right at the end? Since we're to train your monsters. I don't have very much money, so I'm just gonna go for the event. Hope maybe I get some money. And okay, we lost our oil cauldron. <laughs> okay. Not great. Do I have enough blood to pay these guys? It doesn't really matter what we do. Uh, I'm just going to go to the trainer and then just forget it because we can't level up anybody anyway. Uh, oh, no, this is not the last one. Crap, I should have looked ahead slightly. I thought this was going to be the last uh, the last part of this dungeon. I was very wrong. But we're going on 34. We're pretty close to the end, though, I think. Okay, I messed up. I messed up. I thought this was going to be the end of the campaign. So, my bad. Okay, what monstrosity? Oh my god. I don't like this. Innkeeper? I've never seen this before. This is new to me. A thousand HP, though. We're not winning this fight. Not a chance in hell we're winning this. Okay. 76 fire damage to the front. Damage dealt increased by 15% per penalty applied to the innkeeper. Passive gains two bonuses and two penalties at the start of each turn. Removes the penalty with the least stacks at the end of the turn and regenerates 5% of the innkeeper's maximum life per stack removed. So he's never dying. There's not a chance in hell we're winning this fight. Sorry, I think I peaked the microphone a bunch, but there's no chance in hell we're going to win this fight. Like, no way. Absolutely not. Immune to Master Spells, even worse. And a uh, scout who's super fast. Great. Okay. So I'm going to focus on trying to get rid of the back two rows first, I guess. Although I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> this innkeeper is going to utterly annihilate me. And I don't like this at all. Okay. What are, well, you, you dodged the first trap, so it doesn't even matter what we do here. You're weak to fire. You're weak to fire. Okay, let's do Furnace first, then. Not that it matters. We're dead. Not a chance we're winning this fight. Not a chance. I don't have anything that can deal morale damage. And the guy's 550 morale anyway. Even if I wanted to try and get a morale victory, there was not a chance I was going to get that to work. Okay. 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 So we're not going to... Okay, so it's physical to the back. Air and fire to the front. <laughs> Jesus. This is ridiculously powerful. Okay. Now we're doomed. Air and fire, huh? Does anything resist both of those? Oh, okay. Uh, fire elemental does decently. Uh, you don't. Neither do you. Okay, so we're 100% putting the fire elemental in the front. And then what? <laughs> I don't know. Physical to the back. So... Oh, God. I don't know if I want to put you in the... Because I don't have that many monsters that can... I don't have that many monsters that can hit the back row. Like, I have the fire elemental, which is great. Do we do unstable element? No, we have very bad armor. 30, 25... You can't hit the back row. Uh, you can't hit the back row. Your armor is not very good. And it would be at half health. And you deal 52 physical damage. Good lord. Okay. Nature resist. Hmm. Okay. What are your... Okay, your nature resist is pretty bad. So, I guess we're going to put Earth Impaler in the back. I don't want to, but I guess we're going to. Oh, God. Do I want to put Unstable Elemental in here at all? I don't know. You have pretty good armor. I mean, Innkeeper has... Pretty bad resistances all around. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Air elemental. Air weakness. Gains plus, plus 10 speed per stack of thorns. I have physical damage regenerates. It would just be an area attack. I don't know. It resists fire and air. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. That's the best I can do. It's really not much. Okay. Do I want to go with the same strategy? Fire elemental in the front? 35 and 35. Uh, 145 HP for the ancestral elemental. I think I'd want to keep that thing alive as long as I possibly can. Okay. So you have 120 HP. Your air resist is worse, but your fire resist is much better. I'm going to try fire elemental in the front, ancestral elemental in the middle. Once I can find my goddamn mouse cursor. There we go. And what in the back? I don't know. Apply thorns to all monsters of the group at the start of its turn. It's going to be slower than everything else, which is sort of my biggest issue here. It's physical damage to the back. Its armor is not great. Ice elemental. It's going to attack twice, though. Fire damage would be pretty good, actually. So you know what? Despite my... Despite my best, uh, despite anything, I'm going to try Fire Impaler in the back and just cross my goddamn fingers. I know you dodged the first trap. That's fine. It's not a huge problem. It sucks, but it's it's fine. Dear God, I didn't look at this guy before. That mustache is unbelievable. Also, apparently his weapons are a, a beer mug and a stool. Is this guy an innkeeper or a drunken master? What is happening right now? Okay, let's just start discharging, I guess. It's not going to do much, but it's going to do something. What was his speed? I didn't even look. Is he, like, really slow? 15 speed. Okay, that's his one... That's the only thing we have that uh, we have over him is the fact that he is low speed. So you got rid of whatever that was. I don't remember. Okay. All right, good job for surviving. Okay, what does this one do? Okay, nature resist is lowered, right. I always forget what that one was, but... He's gonna hit twice. That's not bad. Okay. I'm gonna keep discharging. Where do I go with thorns? It's not getting hit right now. I'm just gonna go for the discharge right now. It's not, I don't think it's worth it to go for the thorns. Okay. We're getting pretty close to taking down the tracker. Unfortunately, that, that really sucks. That our... Um, now I wish I'd gone for the... The... the Whatever that thing was. Not the discharge, the other attack first. It's my mistake. We got the tracker down pretty low. Okay. So I think we go... I, th I still think we just go for discharge at this point. It's not going to do a lot, but it's going to do something. And it's going to do a fair amount of damage to everybody with the thorns. Okay, we've nearly gotten the tracker down. Okay, we got the tracker down, thank god. And um, even though I've been trying very hard to like not focus too much on the innkeeper, he's still down to like almost half health, which is... He's lower than half health, actually. Wow. Less than I thought he would be. Okay. Flamboy Landing is fire and air. You have bad fire, but good air resist. You have 316 HP. I think Magical Brambles is the way to go just to lower their resistances right now. You, you're immune to master spells. I'm glad I didn't use Flamboy and Lightning. I forgot she was immune to master spells. Thank goodness I didn't screw that up. Okay. Your fire resist was pretty bad. Not you. Not the innkeeper. The uh, Your fire resist was pretty bad, right? 
Yeah, let's go for Magma Ball and try to get rid of her as quickly as possible. It's all right. Okay. So they are... Wow, you have 10 stacks of nature weakness on you, and I have nothing that's going to deal nature damage. Good job, me. Good planning. Okay. So you're frostbitten right now. You're both frostbitten. So if I do eruption, that does more damage if they're affected by frostbites. Let's do that. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Not amazing. Okay, we're going to get... Uh, are we going to get her? Nice. Okay. So he probably just healed up a crap load of HP because... No, he didn't. I don't know what's happening anymore. It's fine. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. He wasn't quite as threatening as I was expecting him to be. Okay. Ooh, lure is interesting. Liquid nitrogen capsule is interesting. I don't want another ancestral element. I have no. I have one of them. Never mind. Liquid nitrogen capsule. Ice damage from monsters' attacks are dealt to the target's fire resist if it is lower than. I really like that. I think I do. I think I want to get rid of the miraculous pill. It hasn't really. It's been okay, but I feel like I haven't been able to take full advantage of it. I think I might do that. Okay, we're taking liquid, nit liquid nitrogen pill, and I'm going to drop miraculous pill. I think, right? I just don't like the minus fifty percent HP. If it was like minus twenty five percent HP, I'd say I would keep it, but I'm going to replace the miraculous pill. I don't regret that choice. Oh, oh. I'll take that. Thank you. Unexpected, but cool. Okay, so the uh, Enchantress gets more spells that I can use. I think I have to choose between one of these. So what do we have here? So we have Blazing Snowflakes, Fire and Ice Damage to the Front, Ricochets to the Hero Position behind the target. The target's ice resistance is negative. Okay. Minus 1% of target's maximum morale per target missing life percent. That's interesting. That could... I'm not going to go for morale victories, quite honestly. But the mental alienation is an interesting ability. I'll give you that. 100 nature damage to the front and applies bounty. Uh, monster who defeats this hero gains 2 motivation. Okay. That's not bad. Poison corpses. 40 nature damage and applies... Uh, poisoned body applies poison to, to all heroes when defeated. Okay. Uh, 75 damage of type equivalent to the target's lowest resistance. That's amazing. It's only one of them, but that's still an amazing spell. Higher ice damage to the back and applies uh, tired. That's also quite good. That set seems pretty good. I will probably go with this middle one, but let's see what these other spells are real quick. 20 damage to the area and applies two random penalties. I like that. Deals 4% of target's maximum life as fire damage for each penalty applied to the target. That's okay, but very situational. And uh, 40 air damage and randomly moves all heroes to another position. I tried that once before. It backfired spectacularly. I'm not going to do that one again. Let's take this middle group because these all seem like very good spells. I like it. Okay. So, we're not quite done with this campaign like I thought we were. My mistake. Okay, how are we for motivation? Actually, not too bad. That Yeah, that really did not go as poorly as I was expecting it to go. Let's go for training. Because I probably really need to level up at least one ice elemental at this point. Because I haven't leveled up any of them, and I haven't used any of them like at all. So let's level up one of them. I don't care which one of them. Plus 10 fire resist is not bad also. Plus 20 HP, plus 10 power. Uh, passive is good. Let's just level up one of them. I don't care which one of them. And we don't have, can't afford anything else, so that's fine. Okay, engineer we can't afford. Training we can't afford. So we're going for an event. All right. Hey, we got a thing. Hooray. Team building. Good for us. Okay, Doctor, or sorry, not Doctor, Collector. I think now is not a bad time to go for the Collector. 
and take the life damage because, like, we have plenty of blood, but I would like to hold on to it in case we go to the Alchemist at some point. Now I can level up another monster if I really wanted to. I think I might level up maybe my other Ice Elemental or possibly my Flame... Sorry, Fire Impaler. Fire Impaler, maybe. I think I might do that. Sure, let's level up Fire Impaler. I've been waiting to level it up for quite some time. Okay. So, after that terrifying innkeeper battle, what do we want here? So, low-level heroes, you get a monster and a little bit of money, or slightly higher monster or heroes, get a little bit more money in a trap, or uh, get another master bonus and the same amount of money. I am going to get a disaster. I don't really need the trap right now. I think we're good with what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the master bonus. Yeah, because you get the same amount of money and we get a disaster. So that's okay with me. I know we're going to have to fight stronger enemies, but that's fine. So which... Oh, so we start with that spell. Okay, so we start with the flamboyant lightning or magical brambles thing. Then a trap, then my second spell. <laughs> okay. Uh, then our first group of monsters. All right, that's fine. Okay, so I'll probably do... Okay, what are, who are we fighting first off? This is an important thing to find out. Sage, awful, hate it. Scholar, hate it also. And Hellbringer, God, we're all going to die. <laughs> okay. Morale, damage and morale taken for traps is reduced by 50%. You dodge the first trap anyway, so it's, it's overkill on the trap dodging uh, stuff. So you do fire damage and can't be affected by demoralized. That's fine. I don't have anything that does that anyway. Gains a random bonus at the start of his turn if the sage is not benefiting from any bonuses. Okay. Interesting. All right. So we're dealing with ice and fire to the front. Ice and fire to the front, ice to the back. Oh, Lord. Okay. So we need to look at your resistances. You have, okay, you have extremely high fire resist and very good ice resist, too. They all have really good ice resist, so I I don't really want to use the polar portal, but I might just have to do that for, the, for this. I don't know. I could use oil cauldron to lower... Well, no, my next trap won't come up until right before the before my fight. So probably not the best call to use Oil Cauldron here. Well, let me look at these other spells again, because I don't remember what they are at this point. Uh, okay, Nature Damage and the, the Corpse thing, right. Okay, but he's going to remove all the penalties from anyone, so that's probably not even worth it. 75 damage to the dam damage equivalent to the lowest resistance, which for the Hellbringer is Nature. Okay. Or 100 Ice Damage... And a lot of tiredness. She does have very high ice resist, so we'll probably just go with the uh, uh, whatever that elemental flaw or whatever it was called. I think. Okay. Uh, go go away, jeez. Okay. I guess we'll do furnace to start. I don't know. Okay, so we're not getting shifted. It's fire and ice to the front. Ice to the back. Does anything resist all of them? Does anything resist both fire and ice? No, 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 no. Okay, so we're all dead no matter what happens here. Okay. Ice to the, I really want Earth Impaler just because, you know, it's it's good in general. This is decent. No, is that Ice Impaler? That's Ice Impaler, my mistake. Uh, okay, you have... Okay, but non impressive ice resists and pretty bad fire weakness. But it will give extra thorns to all of my monsters, which is not bad when it's attacked. And it gives even more when it dies, which will probably be very quickly. <laughs> okay, I do have to remember also that I got that other pill, the liquid nitrogen pill. So it's. Okay, so ice damage. Okay, ice damage targets fire resist if the ice resist is higher. I think that was how that works. So actually, that ice spell would do a crap load of damage to the Hellbringer, now that I think about it, because her ice resist is so high. Oh, actually, that's great for this team, except for the uh, Scholar. 
That's actually really good that ice would target the fire resist because a lot of them have very high fire resist. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Against the target's ice resist is negative. Well, that's not going to happen for. Th but it could still do a decent amount of damage is the key. I have to remember I don't have Miraculous Pill anymore. Do I want to do physical damage? Uh, two of them do have pretty low physical. Okay, Ice to the back. Do I want to bring Ice Elemental? It's not very strong. It's not the one that I leveled up. I'm going to bring Ice Impaler. And do I want to do Unstable Elemental? I have to bring an Elemental so they get the enhanced resistances. I think Unstable Elemental is not too bad because of the physical damage it's going to do. It does it to the area, which is fine. Your Fire Resist... Oh, no, your Fire Resist was bad, so... I didn't level him up, though. Air... Nah. Let's just try Unstable Elemental. Okay. Then, what were the disasters? That does... Frostbite? That's not bad. Uh, damage taken from traps increased by 100%. That's not bad either, actually. And then applies uh, slow. Okay. Okay, Fire and Ice to the front. I think Ancestral Elemental is quite good against both of those. Tis. And it gets a nice speed boost also. So, even better. Okay, Ice to the back is probably going to be Ice Elemental here. Yeah, definitely doing Ice Elemental here. And then what? Fire Impaler? No, that's not a Fire Impaler. That's Oh, just Fire Impaler, sorry. Uh, let's see. Not gonna, we're not going to get that many thorns on this group, I think. I'm still going to go for Fire Impaler anyway, just because for the heck of it. All right. And then we've got Polder Portal. I think that's the best option here because I don't remember what my spells are. We're just going to go with it and see what happens. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Flamboyant Lightning, Fire, and Air Damage. You're not immune to master spells, right? No. Damage and morale taken from traps. Uh, your air resist is decently high. Do I go for... Magical Brambles? 28 nature damage. Your nature damage is quite low. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, you have a lot of decently low nature damage. Or nature resist, I should say. Except for the Sage, but I'm still going to go for that. Dodge your first trap. And second spell already. Okay, so now I have to decide what I want to do here. So Elemental Flaw would do 75 damage. It would be nature damage. Or I could do freeze, which would target her fire resist instead of her ice resist because of the pill. And it would tire her out significantly, which I like. Only the back row. I don't like that very much. Poison corpses. That's going to get removed by the sage, I'm sure. So I probably won't do that. Let's try freeze. That didn't do very much. Did that actually target... Did I look at the wrong character here with this? I feel like that didn't do very much. Like, it should have done more than that, I think. Did I, did I not do the... Oh, did I not take the... No, it is here. Weird. I don't understand. I don't get it. Sorry. I am i don't understand at all. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. You're fine. You're sort of fine. Okay. Spike him up. Okay. Uh, more spikes. I don't have anything else I can do. That definitely targeted the um, the other one. That definitely targeted his uh, his his fire resist. Okay, good job with all the resisting. Okay, more spikes. Surprised that survived an attack. Okay, more spikes, please. 
This is going better than I was expecting it to go. It's still not amazing, mind you, but it's going better than I was expecting it to go. No way I was going to survive that hit. Wow, good job. You survived a hit on Stable Elemental. Well done. Got rid of the Sage on the first round. That's incredible. Uh, let's, let's keep discharging, because we've done a crap load of damage to the Sorceress. Or Scholar, sorry. Wow, survived again. Well done. <laughs> we got two of them in the first round. That's crazy. I was not expecting to get any of them down in the first round, let alone two of them. I guess that ice resist really pays off. We got the whole group. That's insane that we got that entire group without even having to deal with it. That's, that's crazy to me. That's absolutely crazy to me. Okay, Enchanted Seeds, never use it. Not going to worry about it. Blight, 30 air damage, damage dealt, increased by 10% per stack of penalty applied to the target. Okay, so that just boosts it by 20%. Or power plus 10. I'll just take the general power plus 10, I guess. Because I don't know what I'm going to be doing when, if and when I end up fighting enemies. Or heroes, as the case may be. Okay. Let's see if I can get... I think this this has got to be close to the end of the campaign, right? Or this leg of the campaign. We don't have a lot of money, so I'm just going to go for an event. It's not worth it to do anything else right now. All right. What do we have here? Uh, cleaning Goblin comes to see you. Weeping. Oh, it's the it's it's pet stick insect died. Okay. So if we... So if we organize like a funeral... We lose a bit of money, but we get a huge amount of tears. I don't think we need that many tears right now. I'm just going to go for the Resurrect. Well, you know, there's the Alchemist. Now I regret everything. It's fine. It's probably fine. Okay, I'm going to avoid the Collectors this time because I need the health. Do I want to... Okay, what's coming up next after that? Plunder or business trip. I'm going to stick with events for now. Well, I don't know. Let's just stick with them. Let's stick with events for now. Uh, okay. So they can convert blood into tears. Again, I don't really think I need this. I have a whole bunch of blood. and It, and it doesn't really matter what I do here. I feel like it doesn't, doesn't really matter right here. Is this the last? This must be the last dungeon. So I'm going to go for another event because I don't want to take any more damage. Um, I can recruit another ancestral a level two, another level two ancestral elemental. Are you absolutely mad. Of course I'm going to take it. That's crazy. Okay, now I just have to decide who I want to who I want to unceremoniously dump out of here. Um I think this ice elemental probably just has to go. I'm sorry buddy, but you're just level 1 and I can't uh I can't work with you right now. Now I don't want to do any of these because this is the last dungeon and I don't want to lose anybody. <laughs> I'll do the plunder and hope there isn't going to be like a, you know, okay. This is, this is about as good of a, of a situation as I could have asked for. Just losing like an ice elemental or my low level fire elemental wouldn't be too bad. 30% chance when volunteers out for 10 weeks. Uh, set a monster free. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not taking every monster being tired right before the last dungeon. Thank you very much. Uh, plus three motivation. Not really necessary. Let's just go for the chance to try and get set a monster free. Okay. Ridiculous. We didn't get a monster knocked out. And we got another level two? Another fire impaler. Do I want another fire impaler? I don't know. If I... Oh. Okay. I could maybe toss the... If I toss the... Okay, wow. If I have... Okay, sorry. If I toss the level 1 fire elemental, I can have all level 2s. No level 3 monsters for this last dungeon, but we're going to go for it anyway. The occasion just never really came up to level my monsters up to, to level 3, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Okay, so they're going to... Thankfully, they got the morale healing uh, campfire thing. Their, uh, their resting room, which is great, because I don't have any morale on me anyway. What is this again? Who is this? Archmage. I should recognize it by now. I know, but I can't. Archmage, Tracker, and Invoker. 
Oh boy. So it's all fire damage? No, sorry. You do ice damage. Okay. So. Ice to the front. F oh. Ice and fire to the front. God damn. And fire to the back this time. Okay. So you apply broken armor, which doesn't matter. Can't be affected by penalties, dealing damage, or morale over time. <sighs> Jeez. All right, fine. And what was your gimmick again? Gains flame shield when the Archmage is attacked. Deals 34 ice damage. Okay. And applies frostbite. Okay. So you're weak to fire. Everyone else is super resistant to fire. But if I use, if I target, if I use uh, ice attacks, then it will target their, um, will target their, their, their fire resistance. Right? That's how that works, right? Ice damage from monsters, yeah. They'll start, yeah. Oh, from monsters. That's what it was. That was why that spell didn't do extra damage to the, uh, to the Hellbringer in the last dungeon. That explains that. Okay, that's fine. I just was, I was confused about that. Apparently, I thought liquid nitrogen pill was just, or capsule was just, you know, any ice damage dealt. But no, it's ice damage from monsters. Got it. Cool. Good to know. Thank you for clearing that up. Okay. Mm. Okay, so you're, wow, you're really resistant to, like, everything. All right. Why don't we start with the furnace and just go from there? Okay, so ice and fire to the front, fire to the back this time. Okay. Well, I mean, we've got two Ancestral Elementals. We might as well use them while we've got them, right? Or do I bring Earth Impaler? Because we get a lot of stacks of thorns putting it in the front row. And it was fire damage to the back. Okay, so I don't have Fire Impaler in this group, do I? I do. Hmm. We could have a lot of stacks of thorns on our enemies, or on our heroes, or on our, on our, on our monsters. <laughs> I know what words are, I swear. <laughs> okay, Ancestral Elemental for sure. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Scary, but interesting. Boulder Portal, of course. Okay. Now, let's see here. I think this one is definitely going to be... Uh, definitely going to be... Fire, sorry, Ancestral Elemental in the front because, you know, resisting. Uh, let's see, Fire to the back. I mean, it'd be really good if I did go ahead and bring... But you're really resistant to fire. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I think I would still rather bring the... Fire Elemental to soak damage. And then... Do I want to bring the other Fire Impaler? More stacks of thorns? Maybe? Hmm. Sorry. I'm not sure what to do on this one. More stacks of thorns is always good. Uh, attacks target the heroes affected by Frostbite. That's not bad. I'm gonna do that. Cause I did set up the polar portal right beforehand. Let's go with it. Oh, my last spell is right before me. Interesting. So that poison corpse thing is not gonna be very helpful. Okay. So what do we wanna do here? I think magical brambles? So your air resist is not bad, but your fire resist is extremely high. What about your nature resist? They all have low nature resist. Wish I had more monsters that dealt nature damage. But I have one. I have two. Sorry. Dodge the first trap. Of course. I think most of them are going to be faster than us right now, which kind of sucks. Okay. So we have a decent number of thorns on our monsters, which is nice. The flame shield is going to suck having to deal with this. But, you know, we don't have a lot else we can do. 
Okay. So... Uh, okay. Nature weakness. Burn. Elemental weakness. Okay, I think... Do we go... Thunderstorm would do more damage if they're... No, wait. Yeah, Thunderstorm deals more damage if they're burned. So that'll do decent to two of them. Okay, that's okay. Burning Spikes will do nothing, because I forgot that targets the back row. Yeah. I did not do... That did not quite go the way I hoped it would, quite honestly. <laughs> it's not amazing. Okay, then we'll go for the Blizzard next. Get the Frostbite going. Okay. That's kind of rough. I don't think the Ancestral Elemental is going to survive this round. Oh, never mind, it did. Oh my god, we just... I didn't even realize how low on... Holy crap, I didn't... Those thorns absolutely destroyed the other team. I didn't realize how low their health was. I had no idea. I wasn't paying even remotely close attention to it. And it was like, holy crap, what's happening? Like, all of a sudden, they're almost all dead. And it's like, what just happened? Wow, that was a huge surprise. <laughs> Thorns, man. Thorns are too strong. That went a lot better than I was expecting it to go. Oh, she's not going to go first. Okay. So you... Uh, your air weakness is super low, so we're going to go for a blizzard. Hmm. Yeah, that went a lot better than I expected it was going to go. Uh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're, we've won at this point. Oh, you're immune to the things. So that's fine. No big deal, though. We won. Okay. That went remarkably well. Good work, Enchantress. We'll move your office into the temple so you can better centralize your resources. Be aware that you won't be as well protected as in the forest. You'll have to complete your contracts as you defend the temple. Good luck. Thank you. My quest is over. Okay. So we killed all of the heroes. <laughs> Didn't scare a single one away. Makes sense. Uh, only 23 employees slaughtered. I think that's pretty darn good. It's a good record for me. We're going to get two levels or just one? Two more levels. Very nice. All right. I'm going to call this episode here. Then I'll decide what I want to do for my uh, for my talent points a little bit later, and then we'll go on to the next part of the of the Enchantress campaign. So it looks like we're gonna get uh, Dark Magus. I like that already. Flame Eater, Succubus, Fire Elemental, Skeleton Soldier, and Skeleton Magus. We're getting uh, what is that? Crystal Catalyst, ten ice damage, ten air damage applies magical weakness. That seems incredible. And was that Curse Prism? It is. Do I get any artifacts? Doesn't look like it, but I get this is my reward. What is this? Animated Cactus. I already like that. <laughs> that's that's terrifying and I love it. All right, minus 10 morale applies thorns to the next group of monsters. That's fantastic. I love it. Okay, we're going to go for the next level in the Enchantress campaign next time. So thank you everybody for watching this episode of Legend of Keepers. Please click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more of this. And I will talk to you all next time.